I for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And fa is for thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Africa, the beginning of the world. Africa, the home of all humans. Africa is the centerpiece of ancient cultures and traditions. She is home to valuable heritage, tourists, and scarce cultural sites. From Northern Africa, through Central Africa, to Southern Africa, we have countless numbers of cultures and traditions. Dissecting Africa, from East Africa, to West Africa, we survived, and practiced, the ages of ancient, cultures, and traditions. Unfortunately, these valuable cultures, and traditions, have been abandoned, demonized and tagged, acts of barbarism. This act was, and is, mental slavery. Mental slavery has made many Africans detest their cultures, abandon their traditions, and have accepted Western cultures. This act has elicited, worries to Pan-Africans, inflicted pains, on the indigenous residents, in Africa, and gravely, defaced Africa pride, and integrity. I for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. Man sabr Ramadan. Oh. This has made many Pan African organizations to embark on the exploration and rejuvenation of Africa cultural history and traditions. This made the NBM of Africa a registered pan-African organization, to embark, on the exploration, for Africa cultural history, and traditions. The ancient Kano city walls, also known as, Badala walls, which is, a rare heritage site, for the Kano people, attracted the attention, of the NBM of Africa. This made, the NBM of Africa, to embark on the history of the ancient Kano city walls. That is for the care to cure our greed When we give our money to those in need Say it for salamu alaykum Peace be with you wa alaykum as for shams the shining sun Which Allah brings for everyone As for is for salah for when we pray It was 12.35 p.m. The NBM research team had arrived the city walls of Kano. The team was advised to wait for one of the gatekeepers, natively called Sarakuna, or abbreviated as Saki. The Sarakuna was the man in charge of the gates of the city walls of Kano. There are 15 gates to the ancient city walls of Kano. This unveiled 15 Sarakunas. It was 1.30 p.m., almost an hour later. The Sarakuna of the Kofaragundi gate had arrived. We exchanged pleasantries, and he ushered us in. We had visited him, to solicit his information, on the history of the ancient city walls of Kano popularly called Badala Wall. It was time, for the official business, of the day. The NBM of Africa, was introduced, and the rationale, behind the visit, was unveiled. Members of the NBM of Africa and the advocate for social justice and equality for all people. It is due to the fact that our males of our stories, our history, our tradition and heritage has been misinterpreted, manipulated, and falsified. That's why we have in, uh, obliged ourselves to engage in this voluntary uh, research so that we can tell African people and the world at large that our heritage, our history, is something we should think about. It's something we should learn, and it's something we should be proud of. So that's the major reason we are here, so that we can know more about the Badala War, the ancient city war of Kano. That is the major reason we are here, so that we can get it right from the source. Because we've heard about a lot of stories in the internet, but we can't attest to it if it's true or not. We are here to get it from you, who are the custodians of the war. So, you go the only one. I mean, because I. I wrote a Tahiri Dewa, I wrote a Babi Dewa, Dakarota, Ayan and Gizo. To Mumbo Musani Koges Kiabani. She does a Munzo, Musameku, Ku, the Kuni Kuke, the Tahiri, 
muke da riko mai nan ofofin musan asalin gaskiyar tarihi na wannan bogon bandala ko ganuwa da aka fi sanin shi saboda mun nuna mai duniya asali ya kamata mu san tarihi mu da aladi da muhimmancin shi dalilin da wannan kungiyar ta dauka wannan alwashin na son na har da mu kungiya ne da muke yaki da cin hanci da muke muke neman a gaska komai ya zauna kan daidaitawa kan wani ya tuce ba da karami ya danne babba ko babbai da kowa ya samu madidita bisa lakarin jinsi ko addini kuma mu sani dukkan mu daya ne bai kamata wani ya danne wani ba kuma mu sani wannan bakin fata duk inda yake duniya ya kamata ya samu daman da yake da shi mun gode the sarakuna of kofra gundi responded swiftly Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim to alhamdulillah na kuma ta dadin wannan kawo ziyara da kukai ta sanin tarihi na ita ainihin wannan ko ba ku kuma wannan badala ta mun ta kewaye ainihin birnin Kano wanda abu ne mai mutukar mahimmanci da alfanu kuma abu ne na tarihi wanda ya kamata idan mutun da yana gari ko yana kasar sa ya san ainihin tarihin kasar sa ya san kuma ai guguwa na al'ada nasa to alhamdulillah ita dai wannan badala da aka gireta maka sudin girgirarta an girgirarta ne dan ba da tsaro ga ainihin raika na cikin birnin Kano wanda a sabanin a baya wajen gari ba kowa a guri jeji ne ba mai zuwa guri da sai namun daji sai kuma mayaka idan sun ji kawo yaki cikin ainihin kwarin birnin Kano mutanen da sai suka yi tunani da kokarin su sai ga me zai me zai sa a kare raika na duki da dukiyoyin jama'a da ke ainihin cikin wannan gari na Kano sai suka kirkiri a gina ganuwa ta badala domin ita badala abu ne wanda aka yi ta mai mutukar tsayi ita badala na girgita tana da kauri kuma tana da tsayi yanda ko da a baya a lokacin akwai mahara da suke kawo yaki cikin ainihin ita wannan kwariyar birnin Kano dan su kawo yaki wannan badala tana taimaka saboda kare wannan hari ya ji kawo duk karfin doki ko girman sa ko duk gurin sa idan yazo bai sai tallake wannan badala ba domin tana da tsaki tana kuma da kauri kafin badalan ma sai aka girgira akwai ko zazzabu ana nufin kamar ku da dubi sai ki tama ko zazzabu wannan ko zazzabu wannan ku dubi shi yake wai wannan badala ga baki dai ta kanu inda duk karfin doki idan yazo bai sai tallake wannan rani ba kuma bala tana yi kawo da cikin wannan ita ainihin cikin gari ya tsallake wannan badala badalan tana da mutukar tarihi da kuma alfanu domin ita ta kawo tsare tsare na raika da kuma dukiyoyin jama'a shi yasa mafi akasar mutane za ga wasu kan to da ko wani gurin don su ga ainihin tarihi na gurin Kano tarihi na gurin Kano ba kuma bane wannan badala da kuma kofofi sai kuma ainihin muna da gurin dutse da jada wanda abu bane ne wanda suke ba da tarihi na al'ada ta Kano wannan da kuma ainihin biki bikin sandori da ake na la'adu wanda mai martaba yake yin awa yakan fito ta kofa cin ya zago ta nan dan aza ga gari wanda abu ne din na al'ada wanda kuma hakika nan gaskiya wannan yana mutukar taimakawa mutanen ainihin birnin Kano da cewa su san al'adun su ga yanda al'adun su ke ga yanda su ke ga yanda ake tafi da su to hakika nan gaskiya badalan nan tana da mutukar alfani ga tarihi ga mutane domin yanzu a ce yanzu an zo an rabu ba wannan badala mun mun zo mun same ta kadan daga ciki to na baya kuma da ta so kuma fa ana cewa tarihin Kano badala ce da kofa to ka zo ka tarar ba badalan nan shi kofa to ka ga wannan abu ne da aka samu rauni da kuma baya wanda yaro sai dai samu labaran cewa ai muna da al'ada ko kuma muna da tarihi namu na Kano na badala ina badala take ba mu sai da ka zo ga kofa a ciki to gaskiya hakika nan gaskiya badala ta ba da tsaro ga raika ga dukiyoyin birnin Kano kuma abu ne na mutukar wanda suke ba da tarihi sosai wanda duk mutumin da ya zo kai ga wannan abu ga abin da ya kare mutane na da lokacin da ake kawo yaki na harari wanda a lokacin nan yakin nan ba da wanda ga ake ba mashi ne sai kwari da baka sai abubuwa sai ta kubba to duk mayakin da ya zo bai sai tsallake shugo cikin birni dan ya cinwa mutanen gari da dukiyoyin su ba to ga wannan abu ne mai mutukar tarihi kai na baya ko kuma da kake neman tarihi ka zo gari ko kana wani gari an baka labarin Kano kana ko san labarin me tarihin kanan nan an ce maka badala ce da kofa 
da su goran dutsi da kuma sarauta ta fulani ta gargajiya ta al'ada to ka zo ka samu sarauta ka kuma samu badalar ka samu ma'ana goran dutsi amma ita badalar ka zo ka samu babu sai dai ga kofa an ce mai kofa ga take kuma ana abin da yake faruwa a cikin kofan nan sabani da kuka ganto yanzu da ta bayar daban take ta bayar mutane ne aka ce mutane ne matasa mutane na da majiya garfi su suka zo suka gina wannan badala ba da mota ba da kuma ba da hannu ake kwako lokaci a zuwa hada a tu bala aka dinga gina da gari daga baki a ce wannan burbin Kano wanda a cikin wannan badala akwai kofofi guda goma sha shida a yanzu guda goma sha shida su ne duk mutum da idan ta gaba suka yanko za ka shiga wannan kofa in ta yi mak dittin da ka shiga ko wannan kofa to wannan kusu ba to wannan kofa wanda zai amma na da kofofi guda goma sha shida na burbin Kano wanda suke cikin ita ainihin wannan ganuwa ta badala kuma ya kamar da na ga muku cewa ginin su inda yake da da nan zuba da yawani na da din nan na kasa ne an zo an musu ado mutanen da sun musu ado sun kawata su a cikin kofofin nan yan manta da gaba su dinta bayan ta cikin kofar ko ta yi ganuwa da kadan ja kadan ita mata ta fadi shi a cikin wannan garo da kasama ta an dan fitar da wasu kunne na sha kunnuwa ne haka aka dan fitar da su na ado da ga gaba su ta nan mata dan da ka tsake ta ko dan gini dan zubo ka dan yi dan saba da wancan shi ma amma ado da kunnuwa a sama bandon nan kuma a cikin ta akwai ainihin matatta kala wacce ainihin a wancan lokaci da sarakuna suke a wata da sarakuna kogon su suke kula da shiga da kuci na jama'a wanda a sabanin da duk mutum zai shigo cikin burnin Kano sarkin kofa ya san shi sabanin a baya ba yawan mutane kamar haka kuma ba yawata su tura kamar irin ta mutu yanzu idan mutun yake idan mutun ya to sarkin kofa ya san fuskan nan ya san dan cikin gari ne ko ba dan cikin gari bane da ya zo ya tambaye shi ina zaka ji a wancan lokaci sarkin kofa na da zai tambaye shi ina zaka ji me ya kawo kuma cikin kware burin Kano saboda tsaro da kula da aikin da Allah ya dora shi kai domin aikin sarkin kofa aiki ne na Allah kamar inda jami'an tsaro suke gudana da aikin su na tsare da aika dukiyo mutane haka sarkin kofa yake gudana da wannan aika duk abin da ya faru an shigo cikin gari an yi wani ba ko ya shigo ya wata da lefi to da saka ci ne wannan sarkin kofa wannan lokaci da ga sarakunan kofofi suna ba da tsaro da raikan mutane in mutum ya to sarkin kofa zai tare shi ina zaka ji ya ce zan je ni kasuwanci na kasuwar kurmi zan je a'a zan je gurmo ta uwa ta ne a wancan lokaci saboda kula da aiki zai ce ma zan je guri kaza zai tambaye to shi da in kai kwana na za ka zai ce ma kwana bi zai ko uku to in ka tashi fita ta nan zaka fita ko ta kofa won bai ko kofa mazu da kofa ruwa zai ce ma in zan fita zan fita kofa mazu bai ka yi nawa zaka fita zai ce kamar misalin karfe 10 ko karfe 9 na wancan lokaci da yamma rana da ya fadi wannan abu sarki kofa yana san da shi ba mutuwa ba zai manta ba domin akwai aiki ne a cikin ruwan sa zai tashi wakilin sa idan ya gabe zuwa wata wannan kofa ba zai tashi wakilin sa sarki kofa zai ta gudu sarki kofa mazu ga akwai ba ko da maka yi rana kaza ga watan kaza da kaya kalla kaza a cikin sa ya kuma ga yamma ga abubuwan da ya kawo shi ya ce kuma lokaci karfe 9 ko 10 zai fita wannan kofa ya fita zai ce ma ke ya fita hankali ya kwanta idan bai fita ba duk da yake a wannan rana a cikin kwarjen burbin Kano sai an nemo shi an fitar da shi kaga akwai tsaro ce kamar da bazalin ta ba da tsaro ga sarki kofa shi ma ya ba da tsaro ga rayukan mutane ko kuma dukiyoyin su don mutumin da zai ba san waye shi ba kuma mutanen da akwai rike gaskiya kamar inda suke sai a gaskiya ta kawo aka gina wannan badala ko mutane suke kula da wannan abubuwa kamar da kike ga muku a cikin ainihi ta wannan kofa akwai matatta kala da aka wacce ita wannan kofa akwai taure a cikin ta wacce duk karfin da yake shi ma bai sai zo da ci wannan kofa idan ya fasa kofa ya shigo cikin gari ya gudana da wani abu na rashin gaskiya da ya kashi ba idan garin Allah ya waye sarkin kofa zai yawo wannan matatta kala zai leka kudu gabas arewa zai ga a waje ba kura ko zagi ko giwa ko kuma wani mayaki bai zo ya kwanta bauna ba sai ya yi sabe din gabaki ya ba ba ainihin wannan abubuwan sannan zai kuda kofa kowa ya fita kuma da mutun ya fita karfe 5 ko karfe 6 din da karfe 6 take a wancan lokaci sarkin kofa zai dafa kofa saboda tsaro idan har dare i maka ka shigo ba to sai dai kwana a wuce to kaga samar da wannan badala da aka kaga ya kawo zaman lafiya da kuma tsari rayuka 
kuma da al'ada wannan kaga shine al'ada cikakkiya wato duk mutum da yake dan Karo ne zai yi mutukar alfari da wannan abinciwar ina da ainihin tarihi na wanda ya kawo ni har ina kawo yanzu dare na da lafiya ta da kuma rayika da rayika ɗan kuma na da duniya ta I for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of this mila. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And fa is for thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Ha is for Khatim, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I for Allah, nothing but Allah Ba is the beginning of this mila Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah And fa is for thawab, a reward it was 2.45 p.m. The NBM research team had arrived at the Kano National Museum, close to the present-day Emir's Palace. The Kano National Museum was the ancient palace of Kano kings. We had a chat with the director of the museum, Mr. Adam Muhammad. After a short discussion, he directed the museum guard to take us round the museum before he will officially address us. It was appropriate, we began with the history of the Kano Emirate. So, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to National Museum of Gidamma Kamakano. And I'm Mr. Hussein Ibrahim by name. Gidamma Kamakano Museum is the ancient Emir's Palace. Gidamma Kamakano Museum is the ancient Emir's Palace, which was built in the year 1440 by King Abdullah Ibraja. When King Abdullah Ibraja built the palace, he now made this place as a guest house. First, he has a grandson, Muhammad Rumfa. Muhammad Rumfa was the first Makama in this house. A Makama is tied to among the four kingmakers. In 1463, Muhammad Rumfa now became the king of Kano. And he still retained this building and he also stays here. In 1471, he decided why not be the new Emir's palace. That is why he built the palace over there. The new Emir's palace is called Gida Rumfa. The new Emir's palace is called Gida Rumfa. It was built by King Muhammad Rumfa in the year 1471 to 1478. After building the new Emir's palace, that is when they moved from here to the new Emir's palace. They now left this place for coming Makama. That is why the house was called Gida Makama, the house of Makama. I've already told you, Makama is among the four king neighbors. So you are welcome to the National Museum, Gida Makama, Kano. It was one of the ancient and the oldest building in Kano. This building is over 581 years. And when you look at it, you see the kind of traditional, it's not the, they don't normally use cement or uh, blood, you see the kind of ancient building material. Just look at the painting. This is the painting, local seal peel, which was called Makuba. Makuba. Local seal peel, that's what they use for the painting, which was called Makuba. And when we go inside, I'll show you all the material, get together to get the building up. So let's go. The ancient palace of Kano kings had an automated climate coordination. Whenever it is hot, when you come to cold, whenever it's cold outside, when you come to warm, why? Because of the ancient material building. Now you look at the conical brick, which was called Tubali. These are the conical bricks, which was called Tubali. And look at the red clay, the local seal, the local seal peel, the local seal powder, the ghost skin, ash clay mud. This is the whole material I use. This is supposed to normally soak the bagarwa, they normally soak it in the water. And when they soak it, the water has a gum. They used to mix the water with the local seed powder and local the red clay. That is what they use for the plastering the wall. The makuba, the local seed peel, that's for the painting. And look at the ash, which is what cut it for umpton or the deck. And look at the way they normally arrange the stock, the palm stock tree. And when they arrange it, they normally attach a grassy before they now put the, the ash on top of it. When the outside is cold, here is warm. I think when you are coming up, I think the outside is cold. The more you are going inside, you see it will be warm. But assuming that it's hot 
period. Hot. To be cold. It gives normal temperature. So I'm on this city wall here. Now I'm moving to the outside Germany. Which door? Five. I'm on the city wall. Let's get together. We are going to the move to the real history of Kano. In the Stone Age period, you know, in the layman started with the Stone Age. Age. This is the Stone Age. In the Stone Age period, that's when the layman started using stone to make the fire. You know, there's no magic. Mm -hmm. They used to gather maybe grasses, cutting, they'll be scratching it. Mm -hmm. That is how the fire will catch up. For the, for the Stone Age period, mm -hmm. you know, the layman started with the farming. Mm -hmm. For the farming, you know, move to the Stone Age period. After the Stone Age period, then I move to the Iron Old. In the Iron Old, that's when you get the blacksmith factory. Mm -hmm. They call it Mikera, you see? The blacksmith factory. Yeah. And the Dala Hill. The Dala Hill, I tell you about the, among the historical places. In over a thousand years back, there is a traditional worship path. They normally worship a shrine on top of the hill. Over a thousand years back. The name of that shrine, they call it Samburbara and Borbushi. Or God, they call it Samburbara and Borbushi. Please pronounce it, let me hear. Sambara 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 that is why now we are now becoming the first king in Kano. Kano ruling houses. Kano ruling houses is divided into two: the Hapi and the Fulani. The Hapi are the real houses that owns the town. You see, Bagauda ruling houses they are under the Hapi dynasty. The Muhammad Rufa ruling houses they are under the Hapi dynasty, and the Kutumba wa Kutumbi the ruling houses are under the Hapi dynasty. Three, three. Under the Fulani and King. The king only came down to Jihad. You see, the full name Emir of Kano since Osman bin Amphodio. Jihad of 1804 and then I came to Kano 1807. Mm. That is why they conquered under the uh, Hadi. There are 43 kings that were under the Hadi. They conquered Muhammad al Ali and then I appointed the first full name Emir in Kano, which was Suleiman B. Abahama. And there are 15 full name Emir that were Kano. Mm. Under the 15 full name Emir that were Kano, come to see the nine pictures among them. Under the people who are in the room to Kano, just to see the nine pictures among them, Emir Ali Abdullah Baba, when the British colonial came to Kano in 1903, this is the Emir that is ruling. But he doesn't come collaborate with them. He was deposed and was taken to local for exile okay. and appointed his younger brother Muhammad Abbas Abdullah, from there Usman Abdullah and Soho, followed by Abdullah Baharu. Abdullah Baharu is the father of Sunusi One and Ado Baharu. Sunusi One and Ado Baharu are brothers. Sunusi One is the grandfather of Sunusi Two. Sunusi Wan is the grandfather of Sunusi II. Sunusi Wan ruled for 10 years, 1953 to 1963. And he was, there's a collaborating account within him on the Northern Premier Army, but also the Sokoto, the Northern Premier Army, he was the first to Azare, for Azare to be there. And then I appointed him, Uncle Mohamed Inouye. Mohamed Inouye is the shortest salon flying in the Kano. He spent six months and he died. Six months. Over six months and he died. Followed by Adobaru. Adobaru is the longest salon flying in the Kano. He spent 51 years on top of throne. He was born in 1930. At the age of 33 years old, that is when he became the Emir of Kano in 1963, and he died in 2014. Followed by Sunni Situ. Uh, all me and you know what happened to the Sunni Situ, what, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened to his grandfather. That's still the same thing that happened to him. And he was, he was deposed by the state government, and he was taken to Nasana for Nasana to Lagos. And the present Emir Amini Adam. Yeah. They know how to read and write. They have their uh, kings. Uh, rulers, they had a traditional ruler, uh, and they have had religion. Mm -hmm. Only what the white man brought is only in the red rule. Mm -hmm. So this is the palace, just to show how the look at the monarchy of the Emir, just to show you how the Emir normally sits in the palace. Okay. So this is the monarchy of the Emir. You show you how the Emir normally sits in the palace. Look at the twins here. Look at the turban, the horse. Look at her. So this is the palace. Then yes, back to show you how the Emir sits in the palace. So if you are too there, you see some of your kind of doba for section. I don't know some of you that explained doba. Kind of doba is one of the best doba in the West Africa. Okay. Maybe if you come, maybe there is a time. I know he normally came to visit the doba. Mm. You know about the doba. Maybe one day he will invite you mm. to come to see the doba. Mm. This is uh, the toba. Anybody see the toba with two houses, mm. that person is come for the royal family. If you are not from royal family, you, can't put you are not allowed to put the toba with two houses like this. Okay. Even if it's a small kid of one year, you see you're putting the toba like this, mm. that person is from royal blood. Okay. I look at that, that's why you see how the monarch of the Indian Malik put it. 
Look at this one, you see them, they are not with two horns, mm. they are not for royal blood, they are just the traditional rollers. Just traditional rollers. Rollers, you see? The toboggan, the horse seatbelt, the horse riding boots, these are some of the traditional these guys. Mm. Moving to the royal gallery, this is a royal drum, they call it tambourine. I don't know if you have seen this kind of royal drum, they normally put it on top of the camel. Okay. Horses, mm -hmm. they will play in here, anybody in here is passing, they will play in here, call it what? Tambourine, this is a royal drum. You see me? And look at some of the royal musical instruments, the metal gun, the calabash blue, the alligator, and the horns. And when we check over here, you see the symbols of Jinshi. When we talk about the symbols of Jinshi, it's the things the Emir used. Only the Emir used them. Look at the royal standards. This royal standard is made of ostrich feather. Nobody put it except the Emir. It's made of ostrich this feather. One. Yes. Ostrich. You know ostrich? Yes, huh? ostrich. Yeah. Yeah. It's made of ostrich feather. Nobody put it except the Emir. Look at the royal standard. And look at also the royal hand fan. Just for the king. Yeah. Even this one, the staff, the, the twin spear. You see the king is holding it. The staff of office is the kakaki, the voice of Africa, which normally blow. Look at the way they normally blow it. And look at the staff of office. Mm. The staff of office, where yes. is it? Which one? This, this last one. The last this one. last yeah, one. Yeah, the staff of office. Okay. okay. This is the hunting bag. The hunting bag, which the hunters normally use. This is a hunting doko. This hunting doko. You see the hunter normally put them on their face. Sometimes when they want to go for hunting, okay, you see, they put it on their face and they want to disguise, they'll be walking like animals. When they're walking like animals, the, the animal will see them with a hunt, then too they will be thinking they are they animals, animals too. When they get closer to them, that is when they use the PS and throw as to kill their, the animal, which they get the path and put them inside their back. And look at the fiber calf, which normally used to cover their head mm -hmm. up. I will move over here to you see the champ claw. This is a champ claw. A gun, we gun lie you. This champ claw, look at it, almost 99 champs on it. 99 champs? Champ, look at it, okay, any champ, huh? Yes, I 99 see. champs. Yeah, I will just use it. Sometimes when they wear it, it's for protection. They sometimes they disappear on the top to other animals. I don't know whether you see those people that normally play with knives, you see they're cutting their head off, yeah. they normally put jars on the body champs, so this is kind of thing. I look at uh, the chain mail, the guns to the gate, mm. which they normally do with a triple knife, spare it's not going to spray, mm. the shield for the uh, uh, skins for protection and the long sword are also the short sword. And one look over here too, you see the day gun, the spare, the bone, other pivot and arrow, and this is the brass gun powder container, which they normally put the blade inside. Okay. Okay, this is where they put their bullets. Um, the brass gun powder oh, container. Oh, Please look this down. Where they put their bullets. Okay. Well, listen to the house of traditional stuff. You see, both are different kind of stuff. We have the local wrestler. The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa. Look at it. The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa, is here. One, one, one of you, you see? Fukawa. 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 The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa. Look at the flanid traditional dance. You see the flanid traditional dance. And also, when you look at the back one. When we listen to the Chahosa traditional stuff, you see, both are different kind of stuff. We have the local wrestler. The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa. Look at it. The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa, is here. One, one, one of you, you see? Fukawa. 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 The local wrestler, which was called Fukawa. Look at the Flanid traditional dance. You see the Flanid traditional dance. And also, when you look at the back one, the local boxers. Yeah, the house of traditional boxing, them day. Them on there, one of the generals there are here, you see the Fulani Sharu Shari. This Sharu Shari, 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 I don't know, if you go to the Adobe Road Square, mm. I think uh, if you go to Adobe Road Square, I think I've been out to every day. 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 Every This history, I've already told you all about the history. Mm. I want you to see the picture of reality to know, yes, yeah, mm. you are sure of what you are hearing. The picture brought was brought by the British colonial. Mm. I told you that the British came to Kano in 1901. Emir, I lived about with the British colonial officer in 1901. Mm. When they came, they met the Emir. Mm. But the Emir refused them. They now went back to Lokoja. When they went back to Lokoja, they started recruiting the blacks in Lokoja. 
Do you understand? Yes. After they recruited the black, train them for battle. Yeah. And after training the black, you see them training, you see the white man in the battalion mm -hmm. training the blacks. After training the blacks, and then I give them arms. The British army ready for action. You see them, they give them cannon. You see that cannon I show you outside. Mm -hmm. Then I give them arms. After giving them arms, and then I use the black to also fight the blacks. Blacks fighting blacks. Mm. 1903. I'm only holding the spear and the shield. I know how they can conquer the British forces because they can come with the gun and the cannon. So this is the battle field. Look at it after conquering cannon. Look at them after conquering cannon. Look at them on top of the city wall celebrating. Emia Alu got far on exile to Lokoja. This is when they captured Emia Alu. I've already told you all about it. Yes. And he was taken to Lokoja for exile and installation of Emia Abbas by the British officer in 1903. Look at Lokoja sitting with their flag in the palace over there installing a new Emia. Hello, city When he was in Lokoja, he was staying with the four wife and two concubines. When he was taken to Lokoja for exile, he was staying with the four wife and two concubines. How British government general Salah felt bad? The governor of Northern Nigeria, that was the bear. That was the bear. Here, yeah, Lakasa's house meeting in preparation toward Nigeria independent. The meeting toward Nigeria independent. Uh, also, share the visit of Queen Mother to Kano Eminent in 1957. One mother of Queen Elizabeth visited Kano in 1957. And uh, look at her standing. And then was the first. Uh, the first Kanomi Kada, Palaki is the younger brother of Sumisi. Look at Palaki, Palaki, look at his name. Palaki, Palaki, Kano. Palaki is the title. This is a crocodile skin. Just look at the way they preserve a crocodile and design the skin. Crocodile. Crocodile, look at it. It's a crocodile skin. Okay. Uh, if you want to see the skin in the bag, the skin, I am come to see the head of the crocodile. Come to put the flash. Come and put the flash there. And I come where you can see the head of the crocodile. Do you see the head of the crocodile? Mm. Yes, you yes. see? To look at the way the lamp prepared. Even the walking stick attached a crocodile on it. Hmm. So a what preserved is, one. A preserved one. You buy, what do you use them for? He use the skin and the hair. Look at what you use them for. You put them on top of the horses. You use it to decorate your horses with it. Hmm. Just to key. Yeah, key you know, like, even, the, even the walking stick, you attach a, lot, a small, smaller crocodile. And sometimes they go with a live crocodile. A man goes with a large crocodile. So, so what do you mean that those days, no one will see crocodile? Yes, everybody, just like when you go to the south side, you see maybe east, west, yeah. you see somebody, you see lion hair, maybe you see the king, or okay. he's sitting on the palace, you see a lion, everybody has it on, yes, yeah. everybody has it on, oh, elephant pyramid. Some of you be hearing Ghana pyramid, Ghana pyramid, this is the pyramid. In then, that 10 years back, Ghana Kano was the great pyramid. In the whole world, nowhere they stopped Ghana like Kano. Yeah. And Ghana's money, you know, it was used to dig the first family in Nigeria. Yes. Each of the pyramids, each one pyramid contains 150,000 bags of granite. Just to look how many bags of, how many uh, pyramids are there? More than 100 pyramids. Just look how great the Kano was great. And when you look at the old railway, the old railway, the white men are linked, the whole railway, the, the, the white men link all the states that have raw material. And then I put the railway. When, we, when you look into the uh, Zaria, Zaria has cutting. And uh, when we look into the jaws, just has tea. In turn, we're taking the raw material to, through the way from Lagos, we we'll ship it out of the country. Yeah. So look at the skelly. When you, you put the skelly, when you bring the big house, we put the bottom of the skelly, and then I pay by pounds or shillings. So this is the pyramid and the skelly. You're yeah, welcome. Uh, those crops are here planted here in Kano, the wheat, the sugar, okay. the coffee, and the rice. Okay, those look are the crops uh, that are grown in Kano. Yes, sugar. Okay. I think this one, this red one is one that normally used for beverage, mortina, cloud, all that things here. Yeah, I'm sure the different kind of the farming tree, the long bow, the short bow, and the drum. Okay, this one is farming from the world. That one is where I drum. Okay. This is a farming drum. When farming is festival drum, you see the, sometimes they might entertain, mm. engineering themselves, dancing, and do other mm. different kind of things. Mm. The museum guard also took us to the Islamic gallery to obtain data 
on how Islam came to Kano. Galari comes to Islam, Galari, we talk about the coming of Islam to Kano in the late 14th century by Sheikh Abraham Zaiti under the Wangalawas from Mali. We also talk about the five pillars of Islam, we talk about the, the believer of faith, prayer, fasting during the month of Ramadan, pay a religion tax and pilgrim. You see, this look at it, the uh, Shahada, the five daily prayer, also repeated the old central mosques. Under the uh, old prayer. central mosques. The old central mosques. Can uh, we tell when it was erected? The old central mosque, I think, is during the demolition, the, the, the during, I think, after life, I don't know, the demolition and make a new one. So look at the other, the fast and during fasting, you see, the front of the group, uh, Ramadan, Tapsiri. Okay. During the fast and Ramadan, Tapsiri. And here, giving, Zakat, giving, Zakat. You see the giving on here, uh, Pilgrim Hajj. Pilgrim, go to Saudi Arabia. And here, this place shows Kiskali. Kiskali's name, Islamist Palace Library. Yeah. Islamist Palace Library. We show her the scholars. This is a learning, learning grant for teach, teachers. This is a religion. <laughs> It's Kali. It's Kali. Again, to talk about the five pillars of Islam, we talk about the Sheikh Ayyad Usman Bhoti, the late Sheikh Isaac Karadji, the late Sheikh Abu Bakr Mahmoud Dumi, and also the late Sheikh Nasir Kaba. These are some of the scholars. The message of Ismail Afojo, yeah. uh, look at the translation of the message. The English translation of that message. This is translation. No, look at the translation of the message. Okay. Uh, look at the tongue of Ismail Afojo where he was being buried in Sokoto. The museum guard also narrated how Boko Haram came to Nigeria. He now migrated to Kano before he discovered he started doing using religion as a on uh, up Islam, it's a yeah, religion as a fake and started initiating people mm. before he discovered he's become a top a cut a cutting man. Initiating people killing and sucking blood and other things. Mm. And we found in the government discovered this man had become initiated much as much killing. And later on, then he was killed in 1980. And when he was killed in 1980, and some of his men and the father of Muhammad Yusuf, mm. Mm. Ran to Meduguri. Those are around to Meduguri, those are generally Boko Haram. So the genesis of Boko Haram is from Meditesini. Look at his wife, Aisha Moro Meditesini. They finished the fire in the courts. It was now time to x-ray the history of the Badala walls, also called the ancient city walls of Kano. Yes. These are the whole city walls here. This is the city wall that said the whole Kano. Hmm. I've already told you that when the British came, the colonials, they came to the whole part of Kabaga. And I told you that the Kano has six historical places. We talk about the Kano city walls and get one, the, Kano, the Mizan there with two, the Gilano Fat three, the Kofamata type with four, Kulumi Market five, and the Dalai with six. So this is the interior part of Kano. This is the old city. Mm -hmm. And the old city contains only three local governments. Dala, Gwale, and Kano main city, Kano municipal. That's how it contains. Only three local governments that contain the old city. You see me? Yes. So when we talk about the city walls, some of you say, oh, what is city wall? What is city wall all about? Come to see the interior part of the city walls. This is the interior part of the city walls. This is the inside of Kano. You see the city wall, that is how Kano was all fenced. Mm. This city was the Kano that is how the Kano was fenced. And you know, you know how you can enter Kano except through the gate. Mm. And this city was they started building in 1095 to 1134 AD by King Jigemasu, the son of Waziri. So this is the interior part, this is inside of Kano. And when you are inside, and when you are inside, know how you can locate outside. And there's a little hole here which the security people that normally kept to spy whether are there any enemies are coming inside. So this is the interior part, come to see the outside there.
So this is on uh, Asian girl. This is Kofa Nasarawa. I don't know whether people came through the Kofa Nasarawa here. No, down, 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 down. So this is Kofa Nasarawa. Look at the city walls and the gate. The port is here. The one is put there for storing water. You see, and the gate normally opens at 6 o'clock a.m. and they will shut it off at 6 o'clock p.m. After shutting it off, nobody is allowed to enter town. They have opened the gate and entry into town. So this is outside of the city wall. This is one of the open nursery. This is one of the open consecutive. This is the outside. Look at people are entering. Mm -hmm. This is what they call the Colonel City Wall and Gate. British colonial master. The first British Governor General, Sir Lord Frederick Lugard. He first of all came to Kano in 1901. When he came to Kano in 1901, then the Emir then was Emir Alu Abdullah Baba. The Emir, when the British came to Kano in 1901, the Emir then was Emir Alu Abdullah Baba. They told him that I don't come out of in Kano, but he refused them. You know who are the white men? They now went back to Lokoja. When they went back to Lokoja, what they did, they started recruiting the blacks in Lokoja. What the British did, they used the blacks to fight the blacks. After recruiting the blacks, they now trained the blacks. They started with the Niger area, they conquered Niger. They went to Zozo, Zaria, they conquered Zaria, and then I came back to Kano in 3rd of February 1903. The Amy Ali Abdullah Baba heard about their coming. He gave orders to shut the whole gate up. Know how they can enter Kano? That is when they use the canal. There is the two canal. Oh, go over there, I will show you the canal. That is why they use the two canal. This is the short range canal. There is a bigger canal there. That is when they used to bomb one of the gates in Kano. They used to bomb one of the gates in Kano, and the name of that gate was called Kofal Kabuga. The British came through the Kofal Kabuga in 3rd of February 1903. When they bombed the gate, the Emir know it's not even the canal. He went to Sokoto. On the way coming back, that's when they captured him. They didn't even allow him to enter Kano. They're not taking him to exit the Lokoja. When they take him to Lokoja, they now appointed a new Emir. Muhammad Abbas Abdullah, you see what Lord Lugai did. After appointing a new Emir, that is when Lord Lugai came to stay in this house. That's when they brought the indirect food. Anybody want to go and see the Emir, they have to come and seek for permission. Very important before you get directed to the Emir Palam. So you are welcome. This is the canon going used by the British colonial masters. Just feel, just come to feel the gate, the door. This doors are over 500 years, come to 600 years. Ah, I know people of Canada, they may occupy years back there, black meat. Era, the punk something like called Gate Era. Over 500 years ago. People of Canada, men of five years back, they have black smoke era. But era is. And look at all these under bomb gum shots. Yeah, you see them? When you look at when they did it, all the gates are locked. No other guys have started shooting the gate, but the gate did not open. That is when they use that cannon. I'll show you yes, the bomb in the gate. This is the gate. The all these holes are bullets. Yeah. This is the gate the British came to. In the of February 19th, this is the great gate. The British came through. Look at this one. Called Kofa Kabuga. Look at this one. This is the one the British came through. Yeah, look at the way they cut the wind. Cannon. This is the gate that they came through. Kofa Kabuga. Kabuga. Wow. Is there any name for this part of it? Yeah, when the European comes, when they are in charge, because we don't know what it means for the part of it. One of us, I don't know what it is. When the European comes, they ask to get in charge of the city. That is when you know, I told you about the, the gate normally opens 6 to 6. That is when they now bring their own padlock for security purposes to be locking the gate. This padlock was built by the British Commonwealth. It's obvious. How many years is it padlock now? Yes, when they came in 1903, for 1903, you can be updated. Okay, okay. Before wrapping up, the museum guard showed us the traditional bride room. Ah, but that's my child. This is your home to the house of traditional bride room. So this is the house of traditional bride room. This is the full bride room. This and for the place. We are going inside. Okay. Just this is just the compound of the bride room. Look at our grinding stone. This is what you use to grind grains and other things. So just go inside and see what and what are inside the bride room. Come inside. Come sit down. Come sit down. So this is the house of traditional bride room. Look at our bed, you see. Is it clear? Look at our boxes. Okay. Okay, these are boxes. Yes. We are close our kit. Yeah, so I'll close our kit. So this is a box, you know, I'm not going there. I'm not going, I'm coming. Yeah. This is a box, you see how many boxes, how many sets? One, two, three. three. Because you see, it's a traditional bride. And look at her, uh, her water, a, a pot of water, and also you know this kind of water, just like a fridge, a local fridge. Mm. When you put water, it gets to cooler every time. So look at her divider. You see her divider? And look at her bronze plates. 
This is a bronze plate. This is a, this is what they call basket or agaya. She used to put a food item because it's not gold spoiled. Okay. But it uh, uh, will be located to different places. Mm. And look at the, what they call uh, Calabar musical instrument, they call it Shen too. You know, in those days, there's no real electronics or television or radio. And when I marry a lady, she's, she normally comes with Shen too and a cutting. If she's less busy, maybe she wants to give her husband food, you know, there's no television. Mm. When she gives her husband food, she'll not go away, she'll just stay by the corner and be entertaining the husband. Mm. When he was eating, she'll be entertaining him, you know how the dance, how the food will be digesting. Mm. This is the call of Zungulu, one of the those ladies do lately. Just design, the magic design, okay. and they not put your hand inside. Mm. It gives more hot. And this is the oil container, they call it Tango Mai. This oil container, they normally put oil inside or honey. It will even last more than 10, get to 10 years, it will not get spoiled. Inside this place? Yes, they call it oil container, Tango Mai. It will stay 10 years, and it will not get spoiled. Look at some of our basket trains, our paper, and our bags. And look at here, this is where our local lantern, where they used to put our local lantern inside. When they put a local lantern over the road, when the oil can put it, they call it and cook. Local lantern. Lantern. Yeah. Um, this is a cutting in the glass there. You know, in, in, in your lady, in house now, when you marry a lady, sometimes she comes with the cutting, just like, if she's less busy, she'll be spinning the cutting to thread. Just look at the way that you know, I was spinning the cutting to thread. After spinning it to thread, she now you do it a hand knitting. This is the hand knitting. This is black you are seeing it's over. One of our five years of thing. This blanket is hand knitting. Blanket is over 500 years. No, over 50, 45 years. I okay, 50 to 45, 45 years. years yeah. mm -hmm. This is hand knitting. Over 45 years. It's hand knitting when you are saying. So, this is the kind of thing they do. And what you do is maybe do the gown, cap, and other things. Okay. And when they get it off, they will take it to the market, they will sell it for them. Mm -hmm. And she will not buy or not continue, continue her business. She will keep her money inside the. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is my tray, paper for dust and decoration. Okay. So full, awesome, traditional. After a comprehensive acquisition of the history of the Badala walls, also called the ancient city walls of Kano, the NBM research team was ushered into the museum director's office. The NBM research team leader unveiled the NBM of Africa and posited their mission. Of Africa. And the NBM of Africa is new black movement of Africa. It's a registered pan African organization with the Corporate Affairs Commission in Nigeria, advocates for social justice and equality for all. This organization also has the dissemination, the exploration of African cultural information, history, traditions so that we can give to our brothers and sisters who are in diaspora, who have no knowledge of our history here in Africa. So it is to that regard that we are going to each, uh, ancient cities to get their information, history, so that we can share with other African people that are not in Africa, and those that are in Africa that are not aware of our history. This is an investigative research on the Badala ancient city war of Kano. So in that respect, we also took it as a voluntary task of us to come to this National Museum, Kano, yes. to get a detail of the history of Kano and <coughs> how that wall was erected and the purpose at which the Kano Emirates erected that wall. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. The museum director, Mr. Adam Mohammed, addressed the mission of the NBM of Africa. Yes, Adam Adam. 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 I'm the curator of Girema Kama Museum. So, you are welcome to Girema Kama Museum. So, this museum, as you are seeing, the whole building itself is a monument. It is a. This is the first palace of the Emir of Kano. The Emir settled, it was here. Yes, and even when the Europeans come to, come to Nigeria, when they come to Kano, mm. they first settled here. Okay. Yes, it, it was their residence and it was their office. So this building is, is as old as 1440. 1440. Yes, okay. so you see how we are trying to maintain the, the building because if you look at the roofings now it's not easy you'll go very far before you see some uh, this type of a uh, system of uh, 
maintenance. Uh, uh, maintenance or mm. technology. Yes. Yes. Mm. So just to tell you Efficient that, uh, so let's tell you that even the modern technology, mm. they come to this, uh, this, like they come to this uh, type of sites <coughs> eh, to look at the technology so mm. that they will develop it to what is presently happening now in the country. Yes. Yes. So, <coughs> if you look at the, uh, as you go around, you see that even the whole building is of is a, is a history of itself. Uh, self. Took self of an history. Yes, the place of the object mm. that you find around. So, um, it was our responsibility to make sure that we <coughs> we conserve all these uh, these artifacts. Okay. Eh? That w together with the monument, that is the building, mm. including. Uh, the the Kano city wall and get okay. all it is our responsibility to make sure that they are in good condition mm -hmm. for <coughs> for the benefit mm -hmm. of the children yet to come yes generations yet to come yeah. mm -hmm. so that's why you see us we are here okay. so like you are talking of the uh, uh, the Kano city wall mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. actually the Kano city walls was built f to protect the people of Kano. So you know that time there was warriors. Eh? There are war from uh, at least the way that people survive mm. is just like animals. Yes. So if I overpower you, I over. capture you and take over your property, mm. you yourself and your DC you become my property. Mm. So that's why uh, so the, the, the Asian people that are living here mm. eh, that is the rulers. Mm. So they think and make use of their knowledge. Say, ah, why, if we can surround this, this our city mm. with wall mm. and make only gate as the entrance, mm. so no matter whoever is coming to Kano mm. must enter through the gate. And it will be easy for us to see how we are going to attack him and fight him back. Because if you look at the, the, the nature of the, the, the way that the, the wall has built around the, mm, the city, the city. Mm. so in front of the wall mm. and at the back of the wall, there are some ditches. Okay. So no way, mm. you cannot even touch the wall to claim that you will climb it because, because of the ditches. Mm. If you come with your horse or something, if you fall inside that ditches, you are gone. gone. Eh? So... All what you will do, you have to come through the, uh, the gate. And if you look at the nature, like he was showing you the picture of the mm. city wall. Yes. If you look, you will see that there are some openings, like mm. windows. That is for the for then those uh, those yeah. armies. Mm. It is they will use that opening mm. to see when their rivals are coming Indeed. from far distance. Yes. So they will inform the other people inside. So ready. that place get ready. We are expecting some rivals are coming from far distance. Mm. So the other armies in the within the town mm. will be ready, and they know where to block. Okay. They will block all the gates, the gate, because you cannot come uh, through any position. It's only through the gate. So that's how they defend the gate okay. with the help of that uh, city wall. Okay. And that city wall mm. is what make Kano today that you see that. Like it's one of the biggest city in Nigeria, because at that time there was peace. Once, if you are in in a, in the sea in the in the within the city, the city mm. you are you don't think of any attack or any oh, something okay. like that. <coughs> so you are safe. Okay. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, we we heard that the city was comprised of fifteen different gates. Yes. So I don't know if you can give us, the, if you can acknowledge the first gate that was uh, erected and who was in charge, I don't know. If you can give us any clue about that. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> the issue of the, the, <coughs> the, whole, uh, the, the whole city, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the wall was not built at, uh, at the same time. Okay. So it was uh, built in... Uh, Three, uh, three different uh, faces. faces. Okay. Uh, mm. So I was thinking the the first faces. I think 
it was taken. Is it from Kofa Mata? Jikimasu. Uh -huh. uh, no, not the, the person that built it. The first gate was Kansakali. Uh -huh. From Kansakali to Kofa Mata? Kansakali, Kabuga, uh -huh. uh -huh. Kabuga. So you see? Yes, that is uh, along this BUK road. Okay. Kansakali, yes. Kabuga. Mm -hmm. And Duka, we are going Duka, we are. Duka. Okay, that the, the first yeah. gate is Kansakali. Kansakali. Oh, that okay. is around Biki Road near Kabuga. Okay. The yes. Second one is Kabuga. 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 The third one, Duka, we are. Duka, we are. Duka, we are. The fourth, Gadanka. Fifth, Naisa. Naisa. Sixth. Okay, down to 15. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So that is, it started from that side, it's mm -hmm. coming this side, then round. Okay, uh, so it went like this. Yes, okay. I think I've shown you the map. Mm, yes, yes, you've seen the map. Uh, mm. So, so uh, thank you very much, sir. Another question. We heard that the, the, the world was built for about 36 years, from 1095, to 1134 AD. 1134 AD. Yes. Yeah. This is actually a reason, part of the reason we are here. Because in the internet, it was stated that it ended in 14, 14 thereabouts, 14th century. That's so, the first phase mm. was started 1095 to 1134 AD. Okay, the first three phases. Mm. Okay, three phases. Yes. The first phase was built by King Chigemasu, the son of Waziri. Okay. 1094 to 1134 AD. The second phase was built by King Muhammad Rumfa. Okay. That was in the 14th century. century. The third phase was built by King Kutumbawa Kutumbi. That okay. was the third phase. That was okay. in the 17th century okay thank you very much we don't have we think we we have all we needed already okay thank yeah. you so we want to appreciate you for giving us your time giving us the opportunity to go through the museum we will share this information with african people we'll let them know that this is the right history of african people we should be proud of our history we should be proud of our culture our tradition we should be proud of our our people because most of these people in the diaspora see us as demonic barbaric they don't want to practice our tradition they don't want to practice our culture you understand so by the time we share to them the valuable asset of our culture they will understand that africa is the beginning of the world africa is what it takes to become a human being so i want to really appreciate you for giving us your time thank you very much sir. the museum director mr adam Mohammed, with a heart filled with joy appreciated the NVM of Africa for their kind gesture to embark on the historical research on the Badala walls, also called the ancient city walls of Kano. Thank you for your coming, because uh, your coming here, actually, we like it because we too will benefit from your coming yeah. and uh, for taking Makama and show it to the world yes. is another thing. Yes. Eh? Yeah. So, and I believe the history that you are keeping, mm. eh, it is something that will be transferred to In those people coming be be behind us. Yes. So, yes. that's why your documentation, with, apart from our document documentation, we need you people documentation. Yes. Yes. And your publicity mm. goes very far, then people coming here only to the museum and watch and go. Mm. But now, as uh, you people are here, you are taking it to the whole world. Yes, to and the whole world. That's why we are very grateful, mm. and we always expect to see mm. a, uh, the, uh, you people here again. Mm. Mm. We are very grateful with what they are doing. Yes, in the for, Yes, for taking their time, their resources. money, resources, their <laughs> energy, mm. and you too that. You do the uh, you do the job for them yes. volunteer because I've been seeing you going to v different countries yes. Eh? yes to cover all this type of thing and f is the, what you are doing is not is for the whole of us mm. because if we go back now at home we go back uh, now in the evening mm. when we are tired if we see the, the the kind of the documentation that you do you are showing on the TV mm. we are happy yes. it makes us relax mm. it is our problem yes. Eh? yes it is our pains yes so that's why we have to appreciate their effort yes with what they are doing. yes yes so mm. <coughs> may god uh, still 
give them more yes. zeal. Yes. God give them more zeal. Yes. Eh? yes. <coughs> to put more effort and may other organizations come in mm. and put their uh, effort. Yes. So that let everybody come and join mm. and let MBM of Africa. Yes, to MBM of Africa. Yes. So that let you move Africa forward. Forward. Thank you, thank, you, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you, sir. After a successful deliberation, we had a photo shoot with the director of the Kano National Museum. To bless the pilgrimage, Kha is for Khatam, the steel of the prophethood given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I is for Allah, nothing but Allah, but is the beginning of this new life. And Kha is for Thawab a reward. Very strong. So you look at some vital assets that we have in Africa, some heritage sites that Africa people need to visit. At least once in a lifetime, we should be able to visit this this this, this to, uh, tourist center that resides in Africa. You can see across here. See how high. See the window. In ancient times. This as a medium, they use this as a medium to spy right. through invaders, foreigners that are coming into the ancient city of Kano. So, if they are able to see through this place and uh, get in front of invaders, they will inform the soldiers and they will be prepared for war. So, this is the ancient city war of Kano, and I am glad to be here today amongst the NBM of Africa research team. We have come here, we have spent two days here to have gotten all this information to share with us African people. Thank you very much and God bless you. I for Allah, nothing but Allah, but is the beginning of this Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah, and fa is for thawab a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise, ha is for hajj, to bless the pilgrimage.